Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Here we have LastFit blinking turn signal lights. As you can see, these are the stock lights. They burn pretty slow and the color isn't all in there. That's the inside and how the lights blink to speed. And this is how you remove it. So you're gonna wanna take this connector out off the bulb socket. And then you wanna twist that socket to the left, so counterclockwise. And once it's out, you have, this is the stock bulb, and this is comparison with the stock and the LED. It's not a big difference, it's a little bit longer, but the inside diameter is the same. And that's how it is inside the lens housing. And that's how it blinks. You can see it's a lot faster, the blinking, it's a lot brighter. But it does not have the hyper flash because these have it all embedded so you don't have to, you know, take apart your wiring. And, and I figured that this side on the left side and the right side, same thing. This is the easiest way to get into it. You want to go behind where the fender is and underneath. You can fit your arm right through there, it's a lot easier. You want to twist it clockwise. And then for the back, you want to take off your two Phillips screw on the side of the housing in the inside. So you want to pop your trunk for this. And then you want to take your bone tool, panel tool, anything that you want to stick in, in the side there and just pry it to the left out. And on the right side, of course, right out. And that's the stock bulb. And that's the LED bulb. And that's how it blinks. So if you have one side that's not working, what you want to do is you want to flip the light bulb because these are very particular on the, which side you put it on. And I've also noticed that if you have the car off and you have your hazards on, the lights tend to do this. They tend to flash very weird and you have a hyper flash, but that's because your battery, or should I say your car, um, it sends a signal to a control module to blink these lights and that control module is reading a different type of signal and it's a lot faster more impulsive signal so it's gonna give you this effect but after a while this went away the control module i guess picked it up and you know read how it's supposed to be so it went back to normal so everything now is working as you can see the bulbs now work perfect and just the beginning when you first put it in Especially on these newer cars. The older cars, probably not, but these newer ones when everything is computer controlled, you have that. As you can see, at nighttime, it's super bright. Don't worry, this is not going to blind anyone or anything because these are, you know, turn signals. You turn it on real quick, you know, go to the left lane, right lane, or take a turn. But it's not super bright as you would think because in the video it picks it up super, super bright, like blind and bright, but it's not that much. It's a good tone and it's a good brightness for, for these turn signals. And one thing that's good too is that when you have the LEDs in your in your headlights and fog lights, the stock um, turn signals they tend to you know blind out you know like it, you can't see it. But now with the LEDs, everything being LED, you can see it even with the headlights on. And I also have LEDs all around from Last Fit. You guys want to check it out on Amazon or their website? It's all in there, like the headlights and fog lights high beams, everything, it's all last fit. As you can see, implementing like a turn, you know, you have your left turn signal on. Looks really good, the color is perfect. It's a nice orange color.
time to the reverse lights. So I also picked up the reverse LED bulbs, same way to get them in from the back from the lens housing, remove those two screws and pop out the lens. That's what they look like. Looks really good.